Welcome back. Um, this is a big band, a band that I've slowly started to get into. Need to go back to their older discography, but they're part one of this double album that they're releasing. Um, was one of the higher rated albums for my 2022. Now I did split my list into four parts so I could make as much content from it as possible. Um, so I don't know exactly where it would end ended up ranking because one of my lists, I changed the rating just because I wanted to see what it would look like and keeping it that way for that list. Um, but yeah, this is Chelsea Grin, Sing to the Grave. Um, yeah, this is the Suffer in something part. I don't remember which team first. It's Suffer in Heaven or Suffer in Hell. Um, let's just jump into it. That had Darko US elements to it. That was Tom Barber taking influences from Darko US. Not it's not everything from Darko US. And incorporating it and updating Chelsea Drin's style. That's what that was. It's the better it's the, this single is the better part of the first album. The first part of the double album. For sure. Um I am ready for this part now, and this part might be the bigger one. It, it might just tonally, sonically hit harder while having evolved Chelsea Grin's sound. Because the other album was just plain deathcore. This is incorporating elements from the newer stuff that Tom Barber is doing with Darker US for sure and I'm here for it I like when other projects that people do incorporate to their original project that they are a part of 
because it means that they're growing, learning that sound can mix and meld and make things better overall because Doctor US is amazing and to be honest I prefer them to Chelsea Grin as of right now. Need to go back and really sit down and listen to old Chelsea Grin to figure out what who I prefer more. But that was Chelsea Grin with Darko US and it was perfect.